it's very unfortunate that the day he's supposed to get his limelight, uh, Lex, Lex Luthor dropped, and then everyone ignored him. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to WRL Broadcast. I am Hate Mail. With me today, I have Kage. What's up, fellas? And we're going to do a short episode on Connor Kent so he can get his day in the sun because he... Wait, when did he come out? Yesterday? They, or when did, we, when did everybody get all the shards? But yeah, Sunday night, so two days ago. And Lex dropped yesterday night? Yep, yep. <laughs> he had the limelight stolen from him, man. Yeah, I mean, Joker was pretty good, too, but... Um, nobody cares about Joker right now because of Lex, but <laughs> poor Connor. Yeah, <laughs> Jesus, man. Um, yeah, all the, it's funny because all the all the pro Connor people, like people who love Connor, like his character and everything, they're like talking him up in the chat. They're talking him up all to Siege. Like, man, this guy's such an A tier character. I love him. He does so much damage. And then once we geared him up, he was kind of eh. Yeah, I, I don't understand. Like, I think people just want to like him so much. Um, when the tier list comes out, which will probably come out after this episode, maybe it'll come out before, but let's just say he didn't get the highest rating. So, um, I, don't, what do, I don't even remember what we voted for him, but I'm not sure he even made it to B. So, uh. with that said, not a bad character. He just doesn't do anything exceptionally great. We don't really care for him that much. But for those of you that like Connor Kent, you may gear every character in the game, like some people. Or you just want to gear him for whatever reason. I don't think you'll... He's not He's not a terrible character. You, you could definitely... Like, he's usable. Like, you won't be... As long as you're going in with, like, level expectations, he's not going to disappoint you. So, I think... Like, he's... Go ahead. He's a character on... For Legendary Order purposes, I think you and I and pretty much the whole entire community are very set on. He's a character that if you get him... What, L2 or is it L3, you think? I think L2, I, he's perfectly... Useful. I think L2, yeah. Yeah. So, you can get him to L2. Uh, you pretty much got everything you need out of his kit, which I think the first one, the really the only thing that makes him not an F-tier character is his two, that gaining st five strength ups and then purging the buffs. And then he also puts a buff immunity on target, and that is two turns, which is pretty powerful. Right. I mean, um, When you get hit by that, that's pretty annoying. Yeah, yeah. You forget how long two turns can be sometimes. Yeah. So, but anyway, that's his only redeeming quality I find. Uh, he he can neuter Power Girl. He can neuter. He is usable versus the new upcoming Lex meta. Yeah. Being but able to keep yeah. Buffs off will be mighty helpful, except for Lex can purge them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but he's yeah. great against Power Girl. Like I find that's one of the best characters he's against because he shuts down her strength ups for so long. Larflee right. just passively purges them so it doesn't come in much use. So, I mean, it's kind of limited. You need... So that's the biggest problem is that you need the five strength up for the rest of his kit to work. And for his... The three, three strength up. Yeah. It says gain five on when I'm looking at it right now. Oh, but his... his yeah, the rest three. of his kit... Yeah, yeah. The rest of his kit just wants three. Yeah, you need three, but you gain the five strength ups, then you can kind of get rolling on his kit. The problem I find is that there's so many matches where... I don't need to purge anybody, and so I'm just uh -huh. wasting that skill on just a random character, and it doesn't... Like, some other characters do purge, and they either add bleeds, or they do turn meter down, so you're like, well, at least it wasn't completely wasted. Well, the, th the problem I find is that when I use him, once I get the st three strengths ups, the match is already over. Yeah. Like, at after his turn, the match is already over. Like, he's not... Like, what's he going to do? Punch someone who's already dead? Yeah, and, it, and really, he doesn't do that much damage to somebody who's not a mystic. So, you're just kind of flailing around. His three, his super leap, or what did I have next on his? Um, yeah, he might only need to be L1, to be honest with you. Well, his, I mean, yeah, I would think L1, you just really just need his two. The rest of his kit is kind of optional. Yeah, the can't miss, you... The evasion man is dead. Like I would, he's not my first pick versus an evasion comp. Yeah, you're never gonna bring him for evasion. I mean, his basic does pitiful damage to evading characters before the strength ups, and by then all your other characters will have needed to take a turn. So you're gonna open with yeah. two, and you're gonna remove all the evasions. So you don't really need his can't miss. So yeah, L1's probably his sweet spot. 
Um, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's all you really need. His, uh, I think we kind of unanimously agreed his two needs to be first. Most people go with his one next just because he can't miss is useful. His three, the 70% chance to apply stun to random enemies, that's nice, but it's 70%. It's not 100. Or I don't know why it's not 100. It really should be. And that can do decent damage, but once again, you need the... You need his tank set. And it's only a 50% chance to gain 20% shield, which why isn't that 100 either? I mean, it's not... I don't know. It's not all that exciting. Then I would go with on... I would probably go with this five next. Just purging three bells from yourself is kind of nice when you need it. Uh, I don't know, because let's say you're running him uh, against like a really really super hardcore meta team and someone dies that extra strength up really enables him his kit so he uh, he you know he don't need to use his two again to yeah, get the three I strength guess. up i guess i mean i mean and plus one that's a problem but you're right well he, but he needs yeah three. but he gains two strength ups if someone dies and then the extra strength up gets it three yeah and then the passive deep uh the passive for like deep purging debuffs is like you need three strength ups for that to happen yeah, you sold me. I think I will. I'll adjust that. And make it... I, I went back and forth on that a couple times, so I'll just I'll update them to 21345. Team comps that he works well with, I find that you, Wonder Girl obviously works great with him for the strength ups. I, I did like some teams I ran with like Cheeto, Wonder Girl, Coda. I find he's good with uh, Banshee. He's good with Lex, obviously, but no, yeah, any any character that's good with Lex. Yeah, anybody that buffs, which is 90% of the characters. Um, <laughs> I, I, he's okay with Silver Banshee, but he doesn't bleed, so if you're not running another bleeder, I don't like him as much, because mine, right. mine doesn't pop yeah. it often. I find that just running heavy strength up teams with Power Girl, him, so they both gain from it, and then you know Cheetah and Wonder Girl, or someone along those lines. Those teams work pretty well, they're pretty fun. And then one the, gets a lot of damage, he does okay. The... 20 or so people out there that run Stargirl really shut him down, so, you know, just keep that in mind. Yeah, I added Stargirl to the tier list, and we never talked about her. <laughs> Side note. <laughs> I was going to bump her up to a B, because I don't think she's a C. I mean, it's completely you know, I, topic. I'm really torn with her, because I do, I can see her being a B, but I, I find at the I same time... I her once in a blue moon. But, you know, once in a moon, yeah, but I mean, if I use her against Power Girl, but I'd rather use him with, like, Buff Mini, but... If I use her against Power Girl, I mean, it, that's really the only times I'll ever use I her. I like her against Wonder Girl a little bit, too. Yeah, I mean, I, I, can, see, I can see her being B. I wouldn't she doesn't argue. She that hard. I'm going to sneak her really, <laughs> she's, she's really situational, you know? Sneak her into B and see what happens. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let's see if M4 notices. <laughs> I don't think anyone's going to notice. No one really talks about her. <laughs> yeah. um, so... That's all on Connor, Connor Kent. We don't really have a whole lot to say. He's he's okay. If, if you love the character, he's fine. Let me, me I love him in Titans, the show. Like, he's a cool character. But... Yeah. I mean, I loved him from in, from Young Justice. So. Yeah. But me, personally, I don't think I would really reach for him. Yeah, I mean, there's so many good characters out right now that you're going to want to gear. And if you're resource-strapped, I would not suggest investing him over pretty much any of the new characters that have come out recently. If you have to choose between him, Red Hood, pick Red Hood. If you have to choose between him and Lex, Lex all the way. You know, there's... I or have a feeling Owlman coming out. The upcoming we'll Owlman. Him. Yeah, I can't... I really think he's going to be great. So, um, yeah, save your resources. Don't go out of your way unless you, unless you really want them. Then you can definitely make them work. All right, and with that, let's sign out. Hey guys, Ogre Barbarian here, and I just wanted to let you know, I'm going to be doing a guest spot with Bizarro and Galahad on Bizarro Styles Podcast here in the next week. Please check it out if you get a chance. Thank you for tuning in to this edition of WROL Broadcasts, a subsidiary of the Oddsman and We Are Legends. To view additional content and support the show, please go to patreon.com slash broadcasts.